YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out here at the Kershaw booth at SHOT Show 2015. I'm here with Jim from Kershaw and uh, he's going to be going over some of the new uh, products that Kershaw and uh, Zero Tolerance have. So Jim, if you'd like to, uh, to walk us through the different products that uh, y'all are going to have. That sounds great. Okay, so starting off. This is, a, this is a new piece for the Kershaw lineup. This is a new Rick Hinder design. So those of you who, who like Rick's Cryo, it's been a real popular piece for us. You might like this one as well. This one's called the Shield, uh, model 3920. As you can see, it's, uh, it's got a real nice aggressive Tonto Point design, sleek handle design. A um, bit of a departure from those of you who know the XM18 and the Cryo and some of those other designs that Rick has done. Right. Um, we've got steel handles. Um, they've got a gray titanium coating on them. Gives a real nice look to it. We've got a stainless steel frame lock with Rick's lock bar stabilizer on it. Oh, cool. We've got a quad carry clip. Another thing that Rick has been known for, giving you lots of options for clip placement. Um, 8CR13 MOV blade. And what I love about this knife is this cool two-tone finish. Right. So you've got the stone wash on the grinds and you've got satin on the flats. It really cool. pops, looks really sharp. This knife has speed safe assisted opening. Opens really nicely, got a good snap to it. MSRP of $54.99, so it's really a great value for those of you who like hinder knives. Right, okay, excellent. Uh, what, uh, what was the, uh, you said the blade seal on that was the 8CR eight, eight, uh, 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 MOV 13, right? Yep, 8CR okay. 13 MOV, that, correct. That's cool, and that'll keep it budget friendly uh, uh, yeah. for, for, for sure. Okay, yeah. well, it, uh, what was the uh, the next one that you have for us? Okay, let's go, let's go big or go home. Okay. So, the next one here, is what we call the Tinder. This is a new small camp axe, or we call it a personal axe sometimes. As you can see, as, as, as axes go, it's actually fairly small. It's a really nice compact size, it'll fit in your backpack, under the seat in your truck. Um, but the cool thing about this axe that I think is really great is that it offers a ton of features, a lot more than you'd get from just the camp hatchet. So you've got injection molded scales with really nice aggressive texture to it. You're not gonna lose your grip on this. Four different sizes of US standard hex wrenches. And even this little quarter inch one, which is cool, if you're in a bind and you need to, you can stick a, one of your quarter inch screwdriver bits in there or a mm. hex bit and you can work it like that. Yeah. Obviously we've got our axe edge on it. If you flip it around, we've gone to some of these cool details like this knurling on the hammer butt of this, this axe. And then if we uh, slide on down to the, the back end of it here, we have, a, we have an integrated pry bar with a nail puller. We've also got a bottle opener because after you're chopping all that stuff <laughs> up, you got to have a refreshing beverage. All right, exactly. So, really cool piece. MSRP of $44.99. Awesome. Okay, great. That'd be, be very useful for, for like you were talking about, you know, just kind of keeping in your uh, in your truck or or in your your bug out bag or whatnot. Yeah. So another cool new piece for this year. This is called the Dune. This is a neck knife. And it's of that long, slim variety. It's just something that'll lay right on your chest really comfortably. Nice. Um, first thing I want to point out is the sheath, because anyone who's spent much time around fixed blades knows the sheath is more than half the equation. Yes, exactly. Um, really nice injection molded sheath. It's got, it's got a snap retention that's a good fit. It's kind of in that sweet spot where it's not so tight it's hard to get out. Right. But at the same time gives you good retention. Mm -hmm. Snap that out. We have an aggressive Tonto Point blade. We've got injection molded scales with a real secure, secure grip pattern on them. Again, like I said, you're not going to lose this knife. Um, you can see it's a nice stout blade. It's really thick, great piercing point on it. Um, just a fantastic piece, and $37.99 for the MSRP on this one. That's good. Yeah, I like that it, uh, that it's so thin because the wider it is, the more you you notice it on, on your chest. You know, when you have it under your shirt. And but if it's uh, but if it's short, you know, that's that's less capabilities that you're able to, yeah. to use it for. So that, that that's really cool. I hadn't, hadn't yeah. seen something like that. The other nice thing is this, this even comes with the with the paracord lanyard, so you can literally take it right out of the box and put it right on. Okay, cool. Also has a nice adjuster on it. Yep. So you get it hanging at whatever length you like. Yeah, that, very cool. All right, thank you. So that, so that is the Dune. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. Um, keeping in that tool variety, this is something kind of fun and different that we're doing for this year. This is what we call the K-Tool. And it's got a little more to it than you might see at first glance. So this is meant to be kind of a simple keychain tool. Inexpensive. This is actually a 599 MSRP. So really, it's just a, it's a kind of a no-brainer. Cool thing you can carry in your keys. It's got a bottle opener. It's got this pry tool, which 
It's amazing how often that comes in handy, and yes. especially if you don't want to abuse your knife. You can have this on there and you can scrape or pry with it. Right. And this actually, and this little end here is a small screwdriver. Very so cool. it gives you that opportunity to be able to turn those little screws, not just the big ones that you commonly find on tools like this. So cool little piece. Not a whole lot to it, but got more than meets the eye. Yeah. MSRP of five ninety nine. And that's good. Like if you're going to go to the gym or, or whatnot, and uh, you have your keys, and, the, and you're, you're not carrying your Leatherman and stuff because you're just you're just yeah. wearing gym clothes. Um, you know, you, yeah. you have the ability. If you run across something that needs to be pried or screwed or, or whatever, yeah. uh, you don't have to have your multi multi tool on you. You can just use your yeah. uh, what's on your keychain. That's real cool. I like yeah. the uh, I like the price on that too. Very, very cool. yeah. All right, yeah. that's probably one of my one of my new favorite things that you're all going to be offering for sure. Okay. So next up we have a new addition to our Emerson Designs lineup. Um, we've had a lot of success with this lineup, offering an Emerson branded knife at a price that everybody can afford. We've been really excited about this. Um, but what we did get, some, we got some feedback from our customers saying, you know, these are great, but we'd love a bigger one. Right. And so that's what we're giving you here. This is called the CQC4 KXL. So it's got a 3.9 inch blade. It's a big sucker. Right. It's got that great two-tone finish that we talked about earlier in the video with the, with the stone wash and satin. This blade is actually beefier than the other knives in the series, keeping with the larger size. Right. We've got that same great G10 machine scale on it. And then on the back side, we've got a, a stone washed stainless steel frame lock. Okay. We've got a reversible Emerson style clip. Uh, we've got a thumb disc for opening. And of course, like all Emerson knives, we have the Emerson wave-shaped feature. Right. Awesome. So you can hook this on the seam of your pants. And maybe would you like me to demonstrate? Yeah, yeah if you don't mind. For, just for, for people who haven't seen my other video. So you take that hook, and as you pull it out of your pocket, you catch it on the back of your pants, opens up automatically for you, and you're ready to go. Very cool. Yeah, I, uh, as my subscribers will know, I've reviewed uh, one of those uh, products, it was, it was a smaller one, it was the CQC uh, 7K, and that was one of, the, one of the things my subscribers were talking about, is that, yeah, it's cool, it's very tactical looking, uh, but, you know, yeah. it, it's, not, it's not very long, so, so this is sort of answering, answering that question. That, it's yeah. great that y'all are listening to, to the feedback of, the, of, the, of your customers like that. So. These are manual action, by the way, and it's really nice and smooth. Yeah. We've been really pleased with the quality of these. So, yeah. MSRP of $64.99 if you're looking for one. $64.99, very cool. Yeah, that, that is one of the things that uh, my, my, my friends and I notice, um, some of my, my co co-workers and stuff, is how smooth, uh, how smooth it is. That, that makes a, lot, a big so, difference. That's a lot of knife for your money. Very, yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay. So I'd like to move on and talk about some USA Kershaws here. Sure. Um, something really exciting for this year for us is that we haven't done a we haven't done a, a budget-minded USA-made knife in a while. Okay. Something that gives you made in the USA quality, USA steels, but at a competitive price point that is more up there with what people with what everybody can afford. So this is called the Link. Um, we have two models of it. Um, this version has injection molded handles with a stone wash blade and then the other version has aluminum handles with a nice gray finish and a black wash blade. Cool. So starting with the injection molded version, again we've got these nice contoured molded handles. Um, wonderful shape to them, feels really great in your hand. It's got just enough thickness that it's, it's nice and hand filling and comfortable without being really bulky. Um, we've got this spear point blade profile. And also, I didn't mention on this, both of these knives will also be available with a Tonto blade style. Oh, so cool. you get your choice. We actually have four options for this knife. Okay, cool. Plastic or aluminum and spear point or Tonto. Okay, cool. Um, these are assisted opening, liner locks. We've got great snap on these. Really got these dialed in nice. We've got a reversible pocket clip on them. 420HC steel, made in the USA. Very cool. So, again, here's our the aluminum version. And like I said, for 10 bucks more, you get this aluminum handle. It's beautifully machined. Uh, it's got a gray anodized, really classy looking knife. Really great upgrade, and for only $10, it's hard to argue with. You yeah. can go either way with these. It's just a hair bit slimmer. Um, again, same reversible pocket clip. Same 420HC blade steel, but this time with a black wash finish. And it's got that same great snap. So really just, just pops for you. Nice. I like the sound of the snap too. Yeah. 
So, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but on the injection molded version, we've got an MSRP of fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. And then on the uh, on the aluminum handle, we're doing it for sixty nine ninety nine MSRP. So, if you're looking for if you're looking for bang for your buck, this is where I would point you. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. So. Another big thing for this year is we've decided to reintroduce automatic. So I'd like to introduce you to the Launch 1, Launch 2, and Launch 3. So three great new automatics, all new designs. A um, few things in common along this series. Each knife has a blade that's made of CPM 154, so great crucible powdered steel, wonderful edge retention. Really a steel that I wish we did more of. It's wonderful stuff. Um, they've all got machined aluminum handles with a black anodize. They all feature this this cool little feature that we're doing here with our, our red our, our button, it's a black button with a red bullseye on it. Yeah. Got a little Kershaw red on it. A little pride for the brand. Nice. And also gives you a real nice indicator. That's where you push. Right, yeah. Um, so starting with the launch one. We've got these big chamfers on these handles. Makes it feel a lot more contoured, comfortable in your hand. Big Bowie style blade with a black wash finish. Oversized pivot hardware is your button. Another cool thing is that the way we've got to do these knives this year, we're doing these out of two pieces of billet and screwing them together. So we're getting to do, each of these knives has a cool pattern down the back of the handle. Each one is unique. So you really get to choose from several different styles. They've all got reversible pocket clips. Um, yeah, and all made in the USA. Very cool. And, and I think, uh, and I was saying this kind of off camera to some of the other reps, but uh, the button, I mean, that keeps you from, for some, from some people who just aren't uh, as familiar with knives or just aren't yeah. as comfortable with knives, uh, this gives them the ability to activate it and also close it without putting your, your finger, you know, where, where, the, where the blade goes, you know, it, 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 if, yeah. if you want to desire. And my, my wife has talked about that. Uh, she, she'll, uh, the only knife that she'll open is the uh, the Kershaw Leak, uh, yeah. and then she hands it back to. I have the uh, the Kershaw Leak right here, right here, one of the, one of the versions, uh, and then she'll hand it back to me whenever, <laughs> whenever I need to close it. She said she said uh, that, that she wishes that there was another one. She doesn't like putting her fingers, you know, where, where it closes. Sure, so yeah, so, yeah that, maybe I'll get that one for her for Christmas. I, I don't or, uh, or her birthday. I don't know how that'll go over, but uh, <laughs> you know, give it a, give it a shot. She'll give it to me if she doesn't like it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Is there, uh, I think you had some more, uh, some, some more knives, right? Yeah, some zero, quick, zero tolerances. Real quick, when I go over these other two, real sure, quick. sure, sure, sure. Sorry. So we've got the Launch Two. Yep. It's a little smaller, a little slimmer. Um, it's probably the simplest looking design of the group, but it's got that sleek aerodynamic look to it. Groove down the handle. Stone wash finish on this blade on the CPM 154. Again, like I said, each of these has a unique pattern going down the back of the handle. Something I forgot to mention is that on whenever we could on these, on these two here, we've incorporated an integrated lanyard loop, so you just slide through and it comes out here. The same thing on the Launch 2 right here. So, the, we know a lot of people like their lanyards, like to dress their knives up, make it personalized, so right. we've tried to incorporate that where we can. Very cool. And then last but not least, we've got the Launch 3. Really cool knife, really excited about this one as well. This has a black DLC blade finish. Oh nice. So for those of you who really want to black it out, have that, that sleek, dark, tactical look, this is the one for you. Yeah, and, and DLC, diamond line coating, I mean, that yep. stays on there uh, real, real well. Much you know, better than any of the other coating. I've that, gotten in the, my experience, my experience. I've gotten the habit of referring to DLC as the Cadillac of black finishes. We really think that it's a fantastic finish. Yeah. It's just so tough, That's and it, it holds up under you it doesn't wear off like paint. Um, we've been really impressed and so we use it whenever we can. Um, I love the details on this knife. Again, we've got those big chamfers make it comfortable. I really like this. Each of these knives needed a button recess and so we've got this creative button recess on this one that wraps around the pivot as well. Gives it a real cool and closed shape there. We've got a cool smooth decorated pivot on this one so something a little, little more sleek and classy. Again, reversible pocket clips, CPM 154, great snap, all made in the USA. That's a good so, steel, too. So that's our new Kershaw Launch Automatic Series. That's cool. That's one of my favorite steels, too. And now, since I, before I forget to tell you, I'm sorry, man, I'm cutting you off. No, you're fine. No, I was just saying I really like that steel. Yeah. I want to make sure your customers know what the prices are. So, yep. very competitively priced. Launch one is $149.95. Yep. 
Launch two is $139.95, so even a few bucks cheaper. And the Launch three is $159.95, and that's just because you're paying for that great finish on the blade. So just a couple bucks more, and you get that best black coating you can get. Right. So, so really a great price on all of these. Right. Yeah. So it's a it's a little little bit of investment, but uh, if you if you if you're looking for these types of uh, types of knives, I mean that's that's definitely worth worth paying for. And then, yeah. and, and it's made by Kershaw. And, First off, stands by their brand, and from my experience, um, we really like to take our, care of our customers. Yes, yes. Um, did you uh, did you want to cover any any other uh, like some of the zero tolerance knives? Yeah, just, that'd be just, great. just just real quickly. Sure, no problem. So this is a new piece um, for those of you who are familiar with custom knife makers out there. This is a new piece with Les George. It's a brand new collaboration for us. Les is a great guy, really talented knife maker. We're looking forward to work with him. Um, so this is based on his Harpy model. This is called the O900. Okay. We've got a stonewash blade, stonewash titanium scales, um, decorative pivot hardware, real simple, clean design with just the one tube spacer, one screw. Um, it's a great little compact but beefy knife. If you look, that blade's good and, good and stout. 2.75 inch blade, so this is a really comfortable compact size, but look how well that fits in my big palm. Right. It's just a great knife. Um, titanium frame lock. We have a stainless steel lock bar insert that's oh, replaceable. Cool. They're cool. Reversible deep carry pocket clip and S35 VN steel for the blade. Nice. MSRP of $240 on this one. Yep. Made in the USA. Awesome little knife. Really yeah. looking forward to seeing these get out there on the market. Cool. So, next up we have a new design from Todd Rexford. I forgot to mention that the O900 and this one as well both use our KVT washer bearings, so they're very smooth. We're working really hard to get that detent nice and crisp, so it just pops open for you like a rocket. Right. So this is this is called the 0808. Again, a new Todd Rexford design based on his cesium model. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's got these great chamfers on the handle, make it really comfortable and smooth in your hand. It feels almost feels almost 3D contour. Um, We've got an S35 VN blade with our, what we call our two-tone blade finish. So you got a stone wash finish on the flats, and we've got that beautiful shining grinder satin on the on the grinds. Um, this one's got some great details. We've got that polished pivot there, real simple, smooth polish. Looks really classy. Another great feature we, is this polished titanium backspacer. Again, adding just adding a touch of class to a really cool little knife. Very cool. Titanium frame lock. Reversible pocket clip, as, as, as we've started doing on almost all of these, we've got the stainless steel lock bar insert and S35 VN steel, MSRP of $250, so really, again, for what you're getting, great value. Very cool. Yeah, I, I like that you added the, the mirror uh, finish too, that's, that's, that's always a nice touch. Yeah. So if you Emerson fans out there, this will be a cool one for you. This is called the ZT0630. So, if, I don't know if you're familiar with our, our 0620 model, but it's one we came out with last year. It's a collaboration with Ernest Emerson, Emerson Knives, yeah. that had a Tonto blade style. So, this time we decided to take that knife and change up the blade style, so we asked Ernest to do something different for us. And so, what we have is a knife that's based on his popular CQC8 model. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's a very popular fighting knife that Emerson does. It's lovingly referred to as the banana knife because it's got a big sweeping curve to the whole knife. Yeah. And so we're really pleased with this one. It's a great utility blade, really cool shape, nice high grind on it, slice is great. Um, we've, got a, we've got a new texture on that G10 scale. We've got our solid ZT pivot, so this is the one you'd see on an 0300 and 0200. Yep. It's a nut with a solid steel pivot going right through it. Very, very strong. We've got a titanium frame lock on the back. Emerson style pocket clip that's reversible, stainless steel lock bar insert, S35 VN steel, and once again we have the Emerson wave shaped feature. Awesome. But why don't I demonstrate that again in case people are fast forward? Yeah, just, yeah, just in case. So again, you slip in your pocket, pull back, snaps open for you. Very cool. It's one of my, one of my favorite ways to deploy a knife. I mean, very fast. And he, he came out with that uh, design, uh, Ernie yeah, Emerson. The, the wave is Ernie's patent, yep. Yeah. Awesome, very cool stuff. Well, I don't want to 
to take up too much of your time, but uh, you see, I see that you have uh, some other other zero tolerance yep. uh, knives uh, on yeah. the way, as, as well as some more uh, Kershaw stuff. I just do like a real quick uh, sweep of, of the different uh, products that are going to be coming out. Also, they uh, have a new blur uh, coloration. Uh, so that I know a lot of a lot of people like the blur. So that that's really cool. I, I like I like that blue coloration. This is the blur navy and stone wash. And Navy and Stonewash, very cool. And then, uh, of course, they're going to be continuing to offer their uh, their normal uh, product line, and the leak being one of them. And I, I really, uh, really appreciate you uh, walking us through. Though, what, what, what were some of these ones right here? Uh, those, so, these ones are some of your uh, some yeah. of the ones that y'all are real excited about, aren't they? Sure. Yeah. So this is the. Uh we did, we did our limited edition model, the 0454. It was okay. designed by a by a maker from Belarus named Dmitry Sinkevich. Yep. Super talented designer. Really impressed with his work. So uh, so we've been working with him. Um, this is this is more of a production version of his of that limited knife. So this is the same size. It's got a 4.1 inch blade, uh, flat carbon fiber scale with chamfering on it, two tone pivot with a black and a polish. Titanium frame lock. Again, a lot of those same cool features. We've got the uh, we've got the stainless steel lock bar insert, reversible deep carry clip, S35 VN steel, and that great two tone finish that gives it such a nice bling and a pop. Uh, KVT washer bearings, MSRP of 275. Okay. And then last but not least, this is a real. I think this is one that a lot of your customers are going to like. Okay. This is the same same pattern as that one. This is, but this is called the 0450. This is a much smaller version. This has got a three inch blade. Look how slim that handle is. It's just comfortable, it just disappears in your pocket. We've got these cool. great anodized, anodized aluminum tube spacers with a red finish on them. Gives it, so it makes it a little special. Yeah. Again, we've got that great polished pivot. Um, a little bit of shine for this knife that otherwise is stone washed. Um, one thing that's incorrect on this, this prototype is that we're going to do that same awesome two-tone finish on here, give you a little more shine on that blade. So you're seeing this is all stone washed, but it'll get that great two-tone on it. Very cool. Um, this one has an MSRP of $200. Okay. So really, for what you're getting, titanium, S35 VN, KVT bearing washers, super slick action. $200 MSRP is a, really a great price, yeah. and we're excited to be able to get this to a lot of people. And these these knives are just going to last a long time with, with that steel and, and the construction yeah. that y'all put into that. Yeah. Uh, very, very, very cool. Well, like I said, thank you so much for uh, for, for taking the time and uh, and walking us through your new products, man. I'm, I'm excited to, to see these roll out in, uh, in the coming year. But, uh, th thanks again.